What's going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Sean. I'm a driver trainer with Rosedale Tra Transport. This is Mr. Chris Brown. How y'all doing today? Hey, he's a trainee over here. He's doing good. He successfully completed his first week. Now we're in Atlanta. Of course, he lives down here in south of Atlanta, but we're doing a little uh, training in some traffic and we're going to go over a few pointers today. So thank you for uh, watching my channel. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button because I put out videos every day trying to teach you something to CDL school will not teach you hey and if you like the channel make sure you hit the like button and follow us on facebook youtube and TikTok. all right so when you're coming into atlanta or any major city you got to pay attention this goes at all times chris you've got to you got to pay attention to everything always around you people will zoom in and zoom out so you got to look at all your mirrors all the time and you've got to stay laser focused this is not a place to let things slip people are going to come and I was actually going down 285 one time, and I think I might have told you this. I was with Rosedale, I was a local driver back then, this is years ago, but I was going down, I was like at this other lane right here, and a car come around me, and he, he pit maneuvered himself. He boom, did like that, and it turned, and I was pushing him down the road, and all I could see is he was in a, he was in a uh, Mini Cooper. He was looking at me like, oh my God. I just seen that Volvo logo, is all I could see is I was driving a Volvo back then. But uh, yeah, it freaked him out, it freaked me out. Um, I didn't know where he came from. I just all of a sudden, you know, I'm jamming out listening and boom, he's sideways right in front of my car. Got and then, hood ornament. Yeah, he's like, I was like, whoa. So I was trying to hold him steady in the lane, you know, trying not to push him over and because cars are just zooming by. It was really scary. And he didn't know what happened, but luckily witnesses called in. We didn't have dash cameras back then, but the witnesses called in and they could see the judge's car. He went, he went to pass me and didn't give us enough clearance and he pit maneuvered himself. But so yeah, you gotta watch out. You know, people cut, cut in front of you. Keep your distance when you're going through Atlanta or any city or anywhere on the road, period. You want to keep your distance. Um, I don't like riding in a bubble. You know what I mean? I don't like riding in packs. Like you're doing right now, you're staying way back. This is really good. Uh, and you're watching. You want to also watch for you know the tail lights way ahead of time. That'll give you an indication that you can start slowing back. You start seeing tail lights you know, way up ahead. Gives you a good indication that, hey, maybe I should start slowing down. You know what I mean? Don't wait on the, the last minute and have a big 17 car pileup. Exactly. You know what I mean? But no, you're driving great, man. You're doing a great job, and you're going to get through this training pretty quickly. You've you got the driving thing down, so we'll start working on some backing. We'll do some backing videos soon. But also, uh, ladies and gentlemen, when you're driving through, pay attention to the lane signs. Different parts, like right now we're on 285 in Atlanta. Different sections allows you to be in different lanes. Like right now, it's no trucks over six wheels in the left two lanes. Okay, so you can't we can't be over there at all period no for no questions asked then when we get to a major intersection like 85 coming up 75 then 20 it'll say all lanes because sometimes like i 20 up here goes to the left and the right so then it opens back up but don't get complacent and stay over in that left lane you get run off also you got to worry about merging traffic so right now you're in the best lane i say i don't care what everybody thinks i get in this lane right here i can't be in those two lanes and I really don't want to be in those two lanes. So I'm just going to ride this lane like an old boat, like an old river boat. You know, they can get over it. But I feel I feel safe right here in this lane. And I'm going to watch in front of me and pay attention and just see how things go. And let everybody else drive crazy. But always watch it. And when you do lane changes here, like I said before, make sure you put your blinker on way ahead of time. And, and some people are, will see that, they're going to try to pass you. Double check that mirror before you make a move. Absolutely, and as you're moving, follow it through. You gotta follow it all the way through. Definitely gotta do that, for sure. But speaking of left lane violations, I'm gonna talk to you about that in a minute. We had a driver uh, uh, here at Rosedale. There was another driver, another Rosedale was in front of him, right? And uh, he couldn't get over right here because there was another truck right here. And that truck was trying, that's what it was. He was right here in this lane, okay? He wasn't supposed to be in that lane. Rosedale driver is right here in the right lane. And remember, he drove up too. There's a police right there. Well, he, he was gonna get on over in his lane to let that driver over. So when he did that, so that, that way he wouldn't fly by the cop, the driver got in that left lane, which he wasn't supposed to be. Cop seen him, pulled him over. He said, why'd you get that left lane? He said, cause I was letting that other driver over so he wouldn't be right up on you. I didn't want him to hurt you, you know what I mean? He says, not your job to merge over on that left lane. It's his job to slow down. And wrote him a ticket for being in the left lane. Facts. So I don't, you can't get in that left lane. Even if a truck is trying to get over it, just back up, just slow down. But do not get in that lane ball over there because they will pop you. And you might get away with it 10 times, but when there's one time, you won't get away with it. 
Now, what it means by six wheels, that means bobtail or not. Some people think if you bobtail, you can get in it. Well, you can't do that either. It's, that's over six wheels. Yeah. Boy, these roads a little bumpy, ain't they? Ooh. All right, see, there's a sign posted up there. No trucks over six wheels allowed at two left lanes. So we're going to stay out of that lane, and then we're going to stay out of that one because that's a merger lane. So we're just going to cruise right here. But yeah, you're doing a good job. Doing a great job. You got any questions for me so far, right now? No. All right. It's my little paper towel holder up there. It's kind of got worn out a little bit. Well, I appreciate y'all watching today's channel. These are just a few more tips about driving in the city. Pay attention. Slow down. Pay attention. Slow down. <laughs> and don't drive sleepy. It's Truck Alive with Sean. Let's get it. By the way, if you're looking for a great company to come work for, come to Rosedale Transport. Number's at the bottom of the screen, 706-226-1003. Ask for Tina, tell me boy Sean sent you. If you've got six months experience, you'll get a $4,500 sign-on bonus. $1,500 your first week, $1,500 your 30th calendar day, and $1,500 in six months. If you're new, they still hire right out of school. You go out with a trainer like me or one of the other trainers, and they reimburse your school tuition at the $4,500. I don't know why you ain't called the number yet. 706-226-1003. Tell me your boy Sean's hit you. Let's get trucking. Let's get it.